In this video, we'll see how to create an empirical rule graph using the uh, cut and paste method. This is pretty easy to do. Um, I like to go ahead and find an existing empirical rule graph, and you can just uh, do a simple online search for empirical rule, and then do an image search, and you'll find lots of, lots of nice ones. Um, and you can go ahead and grab one, and so you can get nice size there and this is the kind of thing you want that has the percentages labeled in the, the uh, seven lines in there um, you want to try to get a picture of this and you can do a screenshot um, or if you have snipping tool which is in the new windows programs go to uh, accessories and then uh, find the snipping tool I use it a lot it'll allow you to go ahead and snip this out now, you don't really want the bottom just want the graph like that. And then you can go to a document or anything else and then just paste this in. And we just have to label the bottoms. Alright. So we're going to do that with a text box. And the first line you want to label is the mean. Now the example we're going to do is this example from the book. Is the uh, mean height of 15 18 year old males from Chile is 170 centimeters with a standard deviation of 6.28 centimeters. Okay, so our mean is 170, our standard deviation is 6.28. And we'll start off by labeling that mean as the number in the middle. And okay, there's your 170 in the middle. Now the standard deviation is the metric or measurement that separates these lines. So going to the next line on the right, we just add the standard deviation. Going to the next line on the left, we just subtract. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few more of these. And then we can place them where we want them. just change the numbers. Right? So, uh, we're going to go to the right from 170 and adding the uh, standard deviation is 6.28 we'd get 176.28. Make these a little bigger. Uh, adding that one more time we'd get 182.56 And adding it one final time, we get 188.84. All right, now we're going to go at 170 in the middle, and we're going to subtract the standard deviation as we move to the left. So subtracting it once, you get 163.72. And subtracting it one more time, you get 157.44. And subtracting it one final time, you get 151.16. And we now have a nice empirical rule graph that's labeled. And uh, you can pick out what percentages you want from each group and, and say where all the individuals are. All right, so just save that. And, and uh, oh, you should give it a title, right? really need the title. So this is uh, heights of 15 to 18 year old males from Chile. And from 2009 to 2010. There we go. can even say in centimeters. 